several people ask me to this, and it's a real simple technique. Uh, this is a piece of 140 Fabriano Artistico, cold press. And uh, the, when, you, when you paint a breaker, we're going to do a, a breaker so you're standing on the beach looking out of the water, the breaker's coming at you like this. Now a breaker is three-dimensional, and when it, that water fills over like this, it's actually hollow up underneath there. If you can catch that hollow shadow up underneath that crashing wave, then you create the dimension. So what I'm, I'm going to show you a real simple way, it's a, it's a very methodical way of painting breakers, but it works. I'm going to play the guitar. Now you can hand me a guitar, I can make noise all day long, but it's my music. I've got to learn the chords, I've got to learn the fingerboard, I've got to learn how to hold it, how to strum it, I have to learn the rhythm, you know. A lot of stuff I have to learn before I start playing a song. So when you go to a workshop, not just this workshop, any workshop, you're learning the chords. That's what you're doing. You're not expected to come in here and just start you know, creating masterpieces. You're here to try something new and learn some new stuff. And, and when, when you do that, you get to fumble your way through it. You're not alone, we all do, trust me. This piece of paint I'm dividing into two sections, sky and water, but I'm also making a point not to divide it right smack dab in the middle. If you do that, you've got two paintings. When you, when you paint something, whether it be a lake or an uh, ocean scene, either move the horizon up above center or move it down below center. I'm going to move mine just a little bit below center, about right there, so that's, that's my horizon line. And it's up. Uh, and then I do this to draw it in, give yourself a little shoot, something to shoot for you. And I'm drawing it very, very light. I'm also trying to keep it very low. Now, right over here, I want to have a breaker coming in. Now, when you do breakers, <coughs> don't do five or six breakers. We're not trying to make like, we're not looking like cartoonists coming in or tonight. <laughs> Usually, if you do two, that's enough. You got one big one, you got the little small one coming in behind it. But I've seen people do see steady, you got 20 breakers going out. Your first line was the top of the wave. That's the top of the wave. It kind of rises up and crashes. So, this right here is the one that's coming over. Crashing over. It's not a bad idea to take few lines out here to remind yourself which, which is which. So we got a breaker crashing in like this. Now back here, we're going to suggest another one, much smaller, if it's in the distance. And that's the last one that's getting ready to crash right there. And then mean, all this out here is going to be this, this rolling, this rocking wave. This is all you need for people to know they're going to beach. Depending on where you are, you can use whatever color you want. You can use phthalo blue, green blue, doesn't really matter. I like to use green blue and I put just a touch of violet in it so it gets a kind of a steely blue that's got a slight aqua color to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to start on dry paper. This green blue. I'm going to put a little bit of violet in it. And the violet kind of grays it down just a touch. It's not quite in your face aqua blue. Aqua green, I mean, that is, that's a little bit more of a ocean color right there. And I'm going to have my blending brush, my one inch blending brush, clean and ready to go for this. I'm screening most of the excess water out of it. Here we go. At first, we're going to just lay in some very, very light washes of this green blue right along the horizon, right up in here. Not get too dark. Are you on, I can't see, are you on top of the wave then? Uh, that's, that's, that's the horizon. That's the horizon line right oh, there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just trying to establish to the top of the instrument over there. All right, now I'm taking clear water kind of come in and soften a little bit. Now these, these breakers are in are the negative shape. It's bang out of those things. Now here's a breaker coming down like this. See a little white negative breaker right across there? I see. Yeah. This is a demo I can actually be sitting down. I'm not going to the whole arm for me. There's a breaker right there which can be kind of the way it would be. Now I was working on a bigger, bigger breaker right here. When it comes in, it kind of comes in from the side, so here it kind of curls over like this. This edge right here, I want that nice broken edge. That's it. Turn it up one, break it up. Then it kind of rolls back out like that.
And that's where you start getting three-dimensional. You see the ocean of a wave coming towards you. And you can soften that bottom edge. Now, before it gets dry, I'm also going to take my smaller brush, I'm going to rake them, and get it clean, barely damp. I want to soften this edge just a little bit. It's right in here. I don't want a real hard edge right there because the water is predominantly pretty soft. A little bit of moisture on that edge kind of crazy loose and this wave crashing and it's kind of splashing up a little bit. Take that brush and give kind of a dry brush. I'm holding the brush sideways like this. Instead of using the tip, I'm using the edge of the brush. Just kind of give a little pull. All right, now we come in with another brush. Off just to touch that. Let 
just a very, uh, just a very simple little beat chain. But that's the way. I don't do these anymore, but when I do, that's how I do them right there. 